September and spiritually this is the month for women but how is it that very few women in the world today even know this this is not just a random date like International Women's Day that someone has decided to come up with this is a creation happening for the woman of creation and she doesn't even know it so this month I'm going to be talking to the woman about the woman for the woman from a woman's perspective and experience I know you men might say okay so this that means this has nothing to do with us but yeah you're just as needed in this conversation just like sliced bread needs butter <laughs> so both men and women must work hand in hand to be able to achieve balance but today many women don't consider themselves victims of societal influences and brainwashing they don't see that there's an agenda to change them from what they're supposed to be to dummy them down to a state where they don't even know who they were who they are and who they're supposed to be i speak from experience when i say that young girls and women in this society have been dug a hole and every day we gladly jump inside this hole and the hole gets wider and wider and we keep searching for the right hole that would just fit us not realizing that we shouldn't even be in a hole in the first place we should be on a high pedestal in life as intended to us by the one who gave us life without us being stifled in our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual growth. Let's take, for example, the role models that are shoved in our faces, the ones that we emulate, the ones that we want to be like them. We want to wear what they wear, dress up like them. We want to alter our bodies to look like theirs. Let's take one example, and this is very random. I have nothing against this young woman, as each person must follow the path that they've mapped out for themselves. But let's take Kim Kardashian, for instance. Everyone knows that Kim Kardashian forms a large influence on many girls and women today, both young and old. Everyone knows Kim Kardashian. But let me ask you, for those of you who have been following the Kardashians for many, many years, would you say that these women are inspiring womanhood as it should be? Are they standing in the truth and improving the core values and image of womanhood in today's world? Are they confident and content and secure in their lives, in the lives that they portray to us? What is it that is worth emulating about them? We are always being influenced by people in our, in our environment. But have you noticed the caliber of people who are being shoved in our faces as celebrities to copy? Is the rubbish that they portray to us as life, is that really what we are looking for? The warped mindset that makes unacceptable things become acceptable just because, well, Kim said it or did it, or because Beyonce said so. Who do you worship? Who are the idols that you are worshiping? Who is influencing you? I know a lot of women will be triggered right now and they'll say, oh, no, 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 they don't influence me. I, I make my own decisions as to what I want to do with my body, what I want to wear, what I choose to do. But please stop it. I've been there, done that, literally checking what my favorite celebrity is doing or saying. Subconsciously, they influence your way of life. And you think, yes, that's who I am, simply because they are what you give your attention to. They form the basis of who you become, what you believe, and in what, what arguments you end up having with your friends. And you think, this is my life. I'm living it on my own terms. No, you're not. You haven't even lived life on your own terms because you don't know what those terms are. You've been living it based on the terms dictated to you by your biggest influences on TV, radio, magazine, and social media. For a lot of women, if Kim and Beyonce or the Real Housewives didn't exist, they would be different human beings, not sucked into this idea of living a false narrative. That is not your story, but you wish it was. It really is sad that we as women constantly allow the influences of those who we will never meet in our lives to shape our thoughts and beliefs. I've seen the desperation, the degeneration 
the complete loss of self in women, trying to make sense of how they fit in, in the middle of this chaotic world. It really begs the question, who do you want to be? Do you want to be a pawn that society constantly tosses about? As soon as something new is, is, is out there, you become the guinea pig for them. How low will you go? How desperate can you be? What do you seek from life? What drives you? How will it all end? When you're 65 or 70 years old as a woman, what do you want to say that you got from life? And as a woman, what will be your story? How will you stand before your creator? What did he send you to come here and do? How are you getting on with it? What is the substance that you're made of? What values and ethics and morals might you still possess? Who do you worship? The celebrities that influence you on a daily basis, that you cannot wait to go to the gossip columns, Daily Mail, to read the junk. That's how you run from yourself. That's your escapism from the real life that your creator sent you to come and live. You wake up and reach for your phone very quickly to read the latest tabloid. You can tell what's going on with every celebrity. Many of you no longer know what's going on in your own bodies, in your minds, in your souls. It's numb. I know this, I was there. How you are damaging this gift, this body, this mind of yours that, you've been, that has been bestowed on you. Many of you don't even care about self-love, self-respect, self-discipline. But the second your favorite celebrity is on Ozempic, <laughs> you want to shot yourself. Or the moment they say, oh, I've just had my shot, you go and queue up like an idiot. These people are not your reality. Wake the leg up and start moving in the direction that puts you in good stead with your creator who has permitted you life. Otherwise, it will be pain and suffering. And it comes in so many different forms. Just look around you. Lots of women are suffering in so many ways. Stop focusing on the lives of those purported to you as celebrities. Oh, it's fashion week this week. It's fashion week next week. When will it be the week that you truly come to your soul? the week that you truly connect with your creator, that you sit your ass down and think about the most important things in your life. When will you stop being a victim, a fashion victim, a body image victim, the way you speak kind of victim, the way you think kind of victim, a moral victim, a lifestyle victim, a chaotic victim? It started for me with a simple question. Who are you, Sylvia? Why are you here? Which path have you chosen to follow? Is it authentically you or are you being influenced and by who? However subtle it may be, that influence, you might even think, oh, no, no, no one's influencing me. This is me. It's not. You must own up to your distractions and how you have allowed yourself to be used by others and how you have called it normal and progress and Western lifestyle. And this is just how it is. No, it's not. This is not how it should be. Fix yourself and reel back your own power as a woman and begin to thrive in this environment. Wake up and be a calm, gentle and graceful woman who is striving to live according to her creator's wishes for her. But you must know what those wishes are to start with. You must start from there by asking questions. Is, is this what my creator wanted me to be? You must look inward and truthfully because the answer lies within not distraction distracting yourself with what's happening on daily mail and the latest celebrity gossip or who wore what who wore it better are you for real you don't know yourself but you know kim very well how much time do you have on this planet how many summers and how many winters do you have left do you want to use it to copy Kim Kardashians and Beyonce's and I don't know who the latest celebrities are. <laughs> I haven't watched anything in years. But do you, you want to buy the same outfits they, that they wear and carry the same shoe and bags that they have and have the same BBL and a facelift just like them? If they wear short shorts, you make yours even shorter. <laughs> Is that it? Is that life? Is that why you're here? 
you have to ask yourself tough questions, girl. I know I did. And life revealed so much to me when I admitted that I was playing victim and started taking ownership of the role that I played in my own life or what has become of it. As a woman, you are not here to be a Kim Kardashian. You're not here to be a Beyonce. You're not here to copy celebrity lifestyles. Find out why you're here. What is the connection between you and the giver of your life? Why did he give you life? Why are you made a woman and not a man? Why are you even a human being? You can have the bo body so tight <laughs> that, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You can have a BBL that's sexier than anything else in the world. You can have a thriving business on the stock exchange market. You can have Harvard degrees or Stanford degrees that will fill up a whole library. You can read books, travel, have a million followers. But if you cannot answer some simple questions about yourself, the real you, then you have nothing. And I repeat, nothing. Because the illusion of this reality will collapse before you when you leave this body. And the time you have to spend in it is not very long at all. So start asking questions. You're a woman, aren't you? What does that mean to you? So until next time, let's carry on this conversation again next week. In the meantime, be gentle with yourself. Bye for now.